last book from this drive through RPG order. And this one I'm sort of excited about, but also it is a controversial title, and that is Dark Sun. This is the reprint of the stuff from the original box set for Dark Sun for Dungeons & Dragons, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition. Regular viewers know D&D is not my bag, but they put out a lot of useful material over the years. And Dark Sun is one of the very, 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 very few settings that they have ever put out, that TSR or Wizard of the Coast has ever put out, that really captured any of my interest. You know, Spelljammer, a lot of the ideas in Spelljammer I find intriguing, but the actual setting of Spelljammer doesn't really light me on fire too much. And uh, sort of the same with Planescape. Uh, a lot of the imagery, I think, is really cool, but when I actually dig down on it and read it, the parts of it that I did read didn't click with me. Dark Sun, however, I really do like. Now, there is controversy around Dark Sun. This came out in 1990, 1991, something like that, and, you know... Not everything was handled with the utmost sensitivity, and it does deal with subject matter that is fairly strong and, um, you know, is serious, is serious subject matter. And, and I can't say that it always dealt with it in the best and most um, appropriate way. You know, it's been 35 years or more, whatever, whenever this came out, um, and times have changed, opinions have changed, how we produce games has changed, and uh, not everything from this would necessarily translate to a, a modern contemporary audience. I'm not telling you how to run your game at your table, my game at my table, there are things I might not keep from this. However, overall, I really did enjoy the setting. I absolutely love the artwork from Brom. Uh, I love a lot of the artwork and the design in from Dark Sun. I also really like just the vibe. I like the fantasy Mad Max, the 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 strangeness, the twists on genre staples, the, um, you know, it's got a little of Dying Earth, it's got a little bit of uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs' Barsoom, it has definitely, like I said, some, some Mad Max, it has some Conan, and I like that more gritty sword and sorcery, not so much the heroic fantasy stuff, I like the weird monsters, uh, I like all of that sort of thing, and I do think there's a place to deal with some of the stronger and more uncomfortable topics that the game brings up, even if perhaps the game didn't always treat them in the best way, but that is something that at your table, you know, with the right people, with people who are okay with it, it's something that I think can be explored and explored in a healthy way. Um, again, you know, I think um, a lot of that has to do with with your table, with how they feel about things, and with how you treat those things with the seriousness that they uh, demand. But anyhow, I decided to go. I, the option was there for hardcover which is what I would have preferred, but the price was enough that I finally just decided to go with the with the soft cover. Now, again, this is all of the material from the box set, just kind of copied and put into a paperback, one single paperback volume. That, I believe, means, uh, yeah, there's some of the stuff in the back that maybe makes more sense in a smaller format, but literally it's just the pages translated into the back of this. Honestly, it's not as awkward as I kind of expected it to be. Uh, a lot of artwork, which is great. Um, psionic stuff. You know, I'm never going to use the 
I'm not going to use TSR's rules. So the maps are one of the things that's going to be a challenge. I did get the PDF, which came with the purchase of the of the soft cover, and uh, maybe I'll be able to print these maps out in a more useful way. I don't know. But, you know, the maps are the one thing that's going to be a challenge, and it's going to be a challenge in, in a lot of these reprints because they are taking things that were separate and just printing them all in one bound volume. So anyway, I... Again, find Dark Sun to be a fascinating setting. Uh, I think that it's not going to be for everybody, and that's okay. And I know that people were very upset, uh, because I think people desperately love to be upset, that Wizards of the Coast announced that they would not be doing a fifth edition of Dark Sun. But these are the same people who were going to hate whatever Wizards of the Coast did with the fifth edition of Dark Sun so What's the point? Um, you know, I think that as as much as I don't want to give them credit for anything, I think that not doing it was the right choice uh, financially. And you you can argue ethically. You can argue that you know maybe maybe they weren't going to be able to do a good and ethical edition of this. I I don't know. I don't think that's true. I think they could, but let's be honest. Would they? No, I don't think they would. And I don't think that the fans who would be supposedly excited about a new release for 5th edition, I don't think they would be excited. You can look at the response that the other setting books have gotten. And the argument can be made it's because Wizards of the Coast did crappy jobs with them. I think that's probably true. But even if they had worked really hard and put out something much more carefully designed and with all of the material that people wanted, like ship combat rules in the ship-based game uh, of, uh, which one, Spelljammer, you know, that kind of thing, or, or setting material, or, you know, any of that sort of thing. If they had done a good job with it, people were still going to be upset because it wasn't what they wanted, it wasn't what they remembered, it wasn't the version that they expected to come out magically. So I think Wizards is probably smart for not doing Dark Sun. And I don't think that uh, as, as gamers, anybody is missing anything because they haven't done Dark Sun. Because you can get this on print-on-demand on drive through It's not that expensive. It's not difficult to acquire. And you can get the fourth edition version of it that they did. I went with second edition. I don't know which one's better. I don't care. I just basically wanted the world information in an easily accessible way that I could then translate into a Dungeon Crawl Classics game or a basic role-playing game or whatever I might actually use to run it. I just need I need the, the world info. I need the lore. That's what I want. And it exists. It's not difficult to acquire. There's no need to be chomping at the bit and gnashing teeth and rending robes because you're so upset that the company that you seem to hate didn't do a version you were going to hate. Um, anyway, check it out if you feel like it. And if you want to avoid something that is going to cause some trouble these days, then avoid it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to play it. There's nobody making you. And once I take it and read it and maybe bring it to my table, nobody's going to tell me how I can or can't run it. What I can or can't leave in or add in or, you know, take out or do whatever and how I treat various subjects, that's my call and my table's call. Uh, you know, so there's that. Uh, I also, I've been rereading the novels. I had read the original, the first novel in the Prism Pentad series. I had read that way back, you know, when this setting was still pretty new and I had really enjoyed it. But, you know, I had read the Dragonlance books, like a bunch of them, back when those were still relatively new, and I had loved them. And I went back a couple of years ago and read the first Dragonlance book, and it was absolutely embarrassing garbage. Uh, just a terrible book. And and I'm sorry to people who, who like Dragonlance. I mean, enjoy what you enjoy. That's, that's your business. Uh, for me, on a taste level, I thought it was awful. Um, I think it has deep technical flaws. I think it's a, 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 I think objectively a poorly written novel. 
but that's that's how I feel. Uh, so now I'm I've been rereading the Dragonlance books and actually uh, sorry the Dark Sun books and actually the first book pretty well written. Is it groundbreaking? No, it's not groundbreaking. It's it's enjoyable sword and sorcery action adventure fun. It actually deals with some subjects with more sensitivity than I would have anticipated. However, it also lets slide in just a little bit of that kind of lost cause nonsense that I really don't like. I mean, we're not talking full on gone with the wind, but, you know, it's it's in there. So, you know, but I also read Edgar Rice Burroughs and that dude's got lost cause all over his books. So, you know. You have to, you know, be aware of it and then be willing to either wrestle with it or not. That's that's on you as a reader. Anyway, uh, here it is. Let me have offended everyone that has watched today. Um, and that's that's the last of this order from drive through. I have no idea when my next video is going to be. I'm honestly surprised I had this, except again, I had those credits. So I was able to pick up a few things at the end of the year. Uh, I really, again, don't know what's coming next. So that's it. Take care.